Welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on the supercharged Jeep Grand Cherokee. Um, we're going to finish up the intake manifold or the, the fabricated plenum build. So I'll show you where I'm at right now. I was planning on figuring out how to make this better, but this is what I come up with. I ended up cobbling both throttle bodies together to make this work, and then I ended up just kind of rebending the original bracket to get one bolt here and I made this so I can get the other bolt in and this guy's just floating so since my throttle body scooted so much further over I had to do some modifications to make it work but my plan was to figure out how to do this so that if I uh, like I got a couple friends with these I'd like to make an adapter to put the 47 on but I need to figure out how to get it adapted in a way that someone else could just bolt it on without having to hold your mouth right like I did on this one but because I've got my fuel rails modified I got shorter injectors I've already modified that bracket I didn't have enough parts to start out with as if it was stock to then start R&Ding how to do it and then once I cut the first throttle body I couldn't put pieces back on it was too late so mine works I've ordered another 4 liter and another 4.7 liter throttle body and I've just got to get, I've got the intake to use for mock-up, but I need another factory throttle cable bracket. Uh, on eBay it's like eight bucks, so I'll order one of those soon. And then I'll play around on SolidWorks and figure out how to make a simple adapter so that you don't have to. I ended up welding this straight on, but where the throttle stop is on the 4.7, I've rigged this up, gave it a throttle stop. But, it's not really that nice. It's going to work for this, for at least right now. So anyway, this works for mine for now. I want to redo it and do something better. But once I had cut the original arm off, there was just no real easy way to go back. So that's why I've ordered new parts to start over with. But this works for now. So the only thing we have left is to get the intercooler back on. Well set up here putting our intercooler back on the way it was we're about this far off so I'm hoping this will solve that it's a three to three and a quarter adapter and a three inch elbow that should go right on there just fine probably right at the wall it looks like that's that's gonna be easy just a trim I'll just cut all this stuff off make a piece and seal the intercooler back up where this used to dip under because now we're gonna be right on the side so no big deal just some fab time some cutting and welding so for now I'm going to go ahead and get to cutting everything, get the original, the two and a half off of there. And I need to order a blow-off valve mount. That should be here quickly. Because this piece came off of my turbo Nissan. I sold a drivetrain, I chopped the truck up, scrapped it, whatever I couldn't sell. This was one of the cooler, intercooler pipes. I already had the blow-off valve sitting there on the shelf. So I just made a cap, stuck it in where this used to go because that's originally where the intercooler's inlet and outlet was. So I wanted to go in the woods, so I put this on and capped it, hit the woods. But now that I have this, I'd like to get another mount, so I don't want to cut this up. By the time I deal with all that, it's gonna be a mess and not, it's gonna be shorter and shorter. If I get another one of these pieces to weld onto here and have the blow off valve mount on the side a little more properly. So that's the plan, let's get to it.
now we can get a little better idea of what this is going to end up looking like. Looks like this is going to sit pretty close to flush with the top, and I'm going to have to shorten it. Looking at our level to that seal for the hood, that's about right, which is pretty close, but this. So I'm going to have to shorten this leg a good bit. But the height, I think, is just barely going to work out. So I'm going to set you back up on the stand. Eyeball this with a Sharpie and start cutting. We're just going to cut this straight off. We're a little shy of where it's going to finish because I think it's going to have a little bit of a unique shape unless I go ahead and cut this off. I don't have anything really as thick as this to weld back in here currently. I'll look through my stuff and see if I do. If so, then I'll just cut it off. We'll just plan on welding the blow off valve to the elbow. I think we'll have room. Yeah, we should have enough room. I just don't want it hitting the hood or anything. Because that doesn't bother me that much. I could always put it over here as long as it doesn't get in the way of throttle linkage. Got it marked out where I need to cut it. So I'm going to flip this over, quick group it to the table, and I'm going to use my aluminum bit and just hog that thing out of there. got one tack on it looks like I've got to twist it just a bit and we'll be good so I'm gonna twist that so it's square with this edge and uh, weld the crap out of it on there ended up having to put this back on I ran out of filler I just barely got this welded on so it's hooked up working again um, 
I'll just order another one of these if I can find one. I don't know if I can put it right here. I don't know if it'll, it should fit. If I keep it really tight, as long as it stays below the intercooler, because the intercooler gets really close to the hood. But anyway, we're back, good to go. See if the belt's still squeaking. Well, that's gonna be it for this video it's back going and running um, I don't know what else engine wise is next for it uh, I'll start driving around and street tuning it street ish this thing's pretty worn out from being in the woods so we'll try it's about to rain now so I'll show you what I'm gonna do next on it though nothing engine related just suspension related the next thing I've got to fix is this bracket that you can't see hold up Alright, that's not supposed to be like that. It's damn near ripped off. So, so upgrading those is next on the list. Which means I'll probably have to do that at work, cut them off and weld on the heavy duty ones. Um, I may look into getting a MIG welder at the house. That would solve that issue. Oh, one more thing I gotta do. I've got this pulled over to reach the throttle body. So I need to extend that. But while I do it, this one still has the old TPS sensor, the round pin. So I'll extend it. I'll cut another one off of a newer Jeep at the junkyard, extend it, and upgrade to the newer style connector all at the same time. So sounds like I need to pack my stuff up. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.